Live from the Fox News stages in New York City, it's the endorsement game. Here's the star of the show and your host, Joanne Nosajinsky. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome once again to the endorsement game. It's time to meet our first three eligible candidates for this week's registered voter. And here they are. Candidate number one comes from Ohio, and that's pretty much all we know about him. Although we're pretty sure he has a background in karate. It's the man everyone's surprised is still here, John Kasich. And candidate number two is famous for his impersonations from movies no one cares about. He's never been water skiing, skydiving, or snorkeling. It's the senator that many people hate, Ted Cruz. And candidate number three needs no introduction, but wrote a lengthy one for himself. He's great, he's the best, the biggest, the smartest, the fastest, the richest, the most handsome and humble. It's steak purveyor Donald Trump. And time now to meet our registered voter for tonight's game. She hails from Detroit, Michigan, and loves Parmesan cheese, feminism, and her cat. Meet the apathetic Catherine Timp. are you feeling? Great, you know, very, very excited. All right. Okay, so go ahead and ask any questions you have except uh, name, age, hand size, shoe size, and policy plans. Good luck. All right, uh, let's see here. All right. Candidate number one, I get overwhelmed easily, especially when I have too many choices in front of me. So why should I pick you? Look, that's like saying, what if a spaceman lands tonight? I mean, that, it's not going to happen. Dude, how do you know I'm not going to pick you? Love yourself. Candidate number two. Jeez, like most millennials, I'm on the Internet pretty much all day, every day, whether it's at work or on my phone. So what's your favorite website and why? TedCruz.org. TedCruz.org. It's, it's a grassroots movement with over 200,000 volunteers. Okay, I have to interrupt. Uh, this isn't about you plugging your website, candidate number two. And you're not supposed to identify yourself. Remember, Kat can't see you. Okay, moving on. Kat, go ahead. Sure. All right, candidate number three. I recently let a guy take me on a date to see Batman versus Superman, and I hated it, but he loved it. So please settle this debate for us. Was Batman versus Superman a good movie? It was a massive, massive, horrible mistake. That's for sure. Back to candidate number one. I love baseball, but I also love to gamble. As president, would you lift baseball's ban on Pete Rose so he can finally get elected to the Hall of Fame? Ha <laughs> ha Pete Rose, come on. <laughs> uh, all right, I guess that's a no. Fine, moving on then. Candidate number two. All right, I live in New York City where there's so much stuff to do that it can seem overwhelming. So where would we go on our first date? TedCruz.org. TedCruz.org. <laughs> Damn it, Ted, again with the website? God, you're ruining this. This is why no one in the Bronx likes you. <laughs> Kat, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please continue. Okay. Um, candidate number three. I'm afraid of a lot of things. Snakes, spiders, commitment. Um, so what would you say is your biggest fear? China and, frankly, Vietnam now, Japan and India and Mexico. Wow, that's, that's a lot of countries to be afraid of. Yeah, that's, oh, Kat, that sound means it's time for you to make up your mind. Who is going to win your endorsement? <laughs> what? We, have, well, we have candidate number one, number two, and uh, number three. Like I have to pick one? Yeah. You're sure? Yeah, that's the point of the game. There's no one else for me to choose from? No, just these three, although they were selected from a very large pool of options. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh... Oh, wow, we've run out of time today. Join us tomorrow to find out which candidate gets Kat's enthusiastic endorsement. Stay tuned. Greg Gutfeld's show is up next.